Hello and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Park TV. I'm your host, NJW, and I'm back with another crime news episode today for you. So sit back and relax and enjoy this Stir the Pot TV news uh, episode. Authorities are investigating after a 34-year-old man was fatally shot in a drive-by shooting over the weekend. At 10.43pm on Sunday the 30th of July, Authorities responded to Patricia Drive in Sumter, South Carolina, reports of shots fired. When deputies arrived, they found Anthony Rashad Major deceased outside his home from gunshot wounds. Upon further investigation, detectives learned that Anthony was shot with numerous rounds fired from a vehicle driving by his home. Sheriff Anthony Dennis from the Sumter County Sheriff's Office said they focused on finding the person or persons responsible and will follow every piece of information for as long as it takes to bring justice. No other injuries were reported, and the motive of the attack is unclear as the investigation into the matter continues. Now, Sumter, <clears throat> South Carolina, I think it's under 100,000 people there. So I'm pretty sure they'll find out who did this before breakfast. A 21-year-old woman was arrested over the weekend after a 17-month-old daughter died from abuse. Erica Lawson of Mount Vernon, Kentucky is charged with second-degree manslaughter and first-degree criminal abuse against a child under 12. She was also charged with first-degree wanton endangerment and failure to report child neglect. On Friday the 28th of July, the child was initially admitted to Middlesbrough Hospital with signs of physical and sexual abuse, and due to the extent of the injuries, she was flown out to children. Did he say sexual abuse? Is they accusing his, the mother of sexual abuse in the baby? Or what? Just sentence her and put her away. It's hospital in Knoxville. She was placed on life support, but the child's injuries were too severe for her to recover. The child had reportedly been raped and beaten and was brain dead by the time she died on Sunday night. On raped and beaten? Now they haven't mentioned a male yet. So are they insinuating that the mother did this? On the 30th of July, the Middlesbrough Police Department quickly began an investigation to determine who was responsible for the abuse. That same night, Erica was interviewed by detectives and was arrested. She was transported to the Bell County Detention Center, where she's held on a million dollar bond. Authorities are currently investigating the incident and said they expect to make another arrest in the case soon. Oh, okay, so that's the other person that they're looking for. So it wasn't her, it was another person involved. She just ain't told it yet. She won't tell it. Soon they give her a pizza. A 30-year-old man will spend the rest of his days behind bars for torturing and sexually assaulting his girlfriend's toddler son. On Thursday the 20th... The rest of his life? They should have took his life. If he already got convicted, they already know he done it. Where's the fine squad? On the 7th of July, Jeremy Wilson was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole in the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation for the torture and aggravated sexual assault of a two-year-old child. In February of 2020, the Placer County Sheriff's Office responded to a call regarding an attack on a two-year-old boy in Forest Hill, California. A child was tortured, beaten, drugged, then it was a little boy. It did not matter, it was just a child, period. But a little boy, lead the injection. And sodomized with an unknown object in his own home. The victim was found by his mother who rushed the child to the emergency room, where medical staff observed over a dozen fresh adult bite marks all over his body, as well as extreme bruising and swelling all over his face and mouth. The toddler also sustained lacerations and abrasions to his genitals. During their investigation, oh. The sheriff's office identified Jeremy. This one sick bastard. Yeah, I said it. Got baby bruised on her genitals. The mother's living boyfriend as the primary suspect. Two victim statements were reportedly read during Jeremy's sentencing, describing him as a monster who preys on young children. According to the statements, Jeremy shows a lack of remorse for what he did. Judge Michael Jones called the crimes indescribable, disgusting, violent, callous and cruel, as well as one of the worst things he's ever seen. The judge found that due to the gravity of the crime and the brutality of the attack on the young child, the maximum sentence is appropriate for the defendant. 
Supervising Deputy District Attorney Kaylin Everett said in a statement, This crime was particularly heinous. The defendant took out his frustration with the child's mother on a toddler in the middle of the night. The victim had bruising, including bite marks from the top of his head to the tops of his feet, and on every body part in between. This assault was intended to be cruel and cause the child pain. The attack was an exceptionally depraved crime, and one of the worst crimes this country has ever seen. Jeremy is now where he belongs. I said that she let all the citizens got together and stoned him. Stoned him, stoned him, stoned him. He's in prison for the rest of his life, but he can never hurt another child again, she said. Police arrested a 31-year-old man with a history of charges for sex crimes after he allegedly sexually assaulted a 14-year-old girl at around seven. What is wrong with these Americans with these kids? You Americans need to get y'all shit together. PM on the 20th of July, Joshua Black allegedly lured a young teen into the wooded area near the 17,700 block of Prince Philip Drive in Olney, Maryland and assaulted her. Police said they quickly developed Joshua as a suspect and took him into custody at his home in Olney without incident. He's charged with three counts of second degree rape and three counts of third degree sex offence. Joshua was booked into the Montgomery County Jail and is held without bond. In April of 2022, University of Maryland police arrested Joshua on sex offence and assault charges. Joshua also allegedly masturbated under a towel near a public pool in May and reportedly followed girls at a nearby high school but was not charged. Now, this is several cases of people that just need to get sentenced on the spot. It's, you're wasting taxpayers' money, but you're right here looking for us when you should be looking for everybody else. Now, this is another episode of Stir the Pot TV. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you guys same time, same channel.